Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to poach some pears um, restaurant style. So I have a couple of ways here. Um, one way is to cut your pear in half and I've taken a melon baller um, and I've removed my seeds. You can also use a measuring spoon to do this. I've also taken a paring knife and I've just removed some of this fibrous part here and the stem on the bottom here. Now, I've got my pears um, sitting in some apple juice, some good quality apple juice, and I want to infuse the pears with some seasoning. So my favorite seasoning for poaching um, is to take star anise, which has a nice uh, licorice flavor, and a couple of cardamom pods. You can also use a cinnamon stick um, or some cloves. And what I want to do is I want to create a hood vent so that when I go to simmer my pears, uh, I can keep all of that nice steam to steam the outside of my pear. So I have my parchment paper, which is different than wax paper, and I'm folding it in half and then folding it one more time. This is my fold edge, and I'm going to create a fan. And fold again, and fold one more time. Okay. And I'm going to measure from the center of my pan, just about to the edge. And right about here I'm going to cut with the scissors. And then I'm going to cut the center part out as well. Now I have a nice hood vent for my pears. And as the, the pears simmer, the steam will be able to escape from the center. And I don't want my parchment paper hanging over the edge because it will catch on fire. Now to check the pears for doneness, you want to have a skewer um, like this. And after about 15 minutes or so, I'm going to insert my skewer into the pear. And if it comes out clean, that means your pear is done. If the pear sticks at all to the skewer, you want to give it a few more minutes. Um, and again, it's really important to use low heat when you're simmering the pears because the longer they simmer, the more chance the spices have to really get infused deeply into the pear. I'm going to show you also a method for poaching a whole pear. So here I have two whole pears. And you can see how lovely the shape of the pear is because I've taken a peeler and I've gone right along the length of the pear so that I can keep that nice pear shape. And all I had to remove on the whole pear is just this bottom portion here. You want to use a pear that's semi-firm but slightly ripe. And to test, you can just push with your thumb right here and it should give just a little bit. You don't want to use a really ripe pear or when you poach it, they'll come out a little mushy. Now with the whole pear method, you can go ahead and just cover them with a slightly ajar lid, like so, or you can make a nice um, hood bent with parchment paper. And it's the same method. You simmer on low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes and then check with a skewer. And that's it. I hope you enjoy these delicious, um, nice whole food fruit pears.